back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you are new here hi I'm Hannah I'm a college student entrepreneur and youtuber I am doing a video I haven't done in a long time and that is a what I eat in a week I kind of show you how I try to eat my best eat wholesome meals um, with having a busy schedule I cook 95% of my meals at home so um, I really do that to try to save money honestly it's not even about healthiness it's like literally me trying to save money because eating out in Nashville is so fun but can be very pricey if videos talking about food is triggering it all to you I do not want you to feel pressured to watch you know yourself best I'm not going to be talking about calories or health fads or anything like that. I'm literally, how I base my food off of is, okay, is this a well-rounded meal? Am I getting my protein in the day? Am I getting my fats, my carbs, my vitamins, my nutrients? Also, does it taste good? Like, that's what I base my food off of. I love intuitive eating. That's what I strive for. Not saying I'm perfect at all, but intuitive eating is really what I love. I'm tr really gonna try to just stay very neutral with my stance to the food I eat. And like I said, I really just do it for, okay, is it giving me all the things my body needs in a day and does it taste good? So with that being said, it is Monday morning, 9 a.m. I just got done with my first class, so here online. And I had my coffee this morning. I normally like to wait a few hours after I have my coffee, at least an hour, just because I'm not hungry. And then I get hungry around 9 or 10 a.m. and make some breakfast. So don't know what I'm gonna make, but We'll make something. Okay, so I ended up going with just a yogurt parfait, super easy. I just throw in whatever fruit I have currently. I use 2% Greek yogurt, and then I added in a whole banana sliced up. I always add almond butter to my yogurt. It's so good, adds a little bit of like a savoriness to it, and then topped it with granola. Sometimes I'll add honey if I'm feeling a little sweet. And a couple hours later, it was time for lunch, and I had some soup, some tortellini soup that I had made in a big batch the night before just with tortellini cheese filled pasta kale brussels sprouts tomatoes onion and chicken sausage and obviously chicken broth as well it was so nice at making this on sunday and i think i had like three or four servings from it so it was super great to just be able to heat this up in the middle of the day whenever i got hungry and have it be good to go with this, I also ate some of these prosciutto fingers, which are just cheese wrapped in meat, like you would find on a cheese board, just for some extra protein. These are great little snacks or to add to your lunch. And then I try not to be on my phone too often while I'm eating, but some days it just happens. I headed out to a co-working space to shoot content and get some more work done throughout the day. So I made sure to bring along my overnight oats, which I had in the fridge and prepped the night before. How I make my overnight oats is really simple. I just put some quick oats into a jar, top it with almond milk. I will often add almond butter, frozen berries, some cinnamon, and maybe a little bit of honey. It's a great and delicious snack that you can take on the go. And then my dinner tonight was honestly the only dinner that I didn't make from scratch. Saturday night, me and my boyfriend went to Maggiano's, an Italian restaurant, and they have this deal where if you buy an entree, you can take a $5 entree home. And it lasted me two meals, so it was a great deal, but I just wanted something easy, warm, yummy. So I heated up this chicken fettuccine Alfredo over the stove in my always pan, which I love. And then I also wanted to add some greens in. So I had a salad with kale and mixed lettuces and then the Trader Joe's Romano Caesar dressing. That was my delicious Italian style <laughs> bowl. And it was very perfect for this winter night. And then I'm the type of girl who always needs something sweet after I eat a meal. And so thankfully my roommate had made this pumpkin bread earlier that weekend. And so I had a little slice of this. And then I always like to drink peppermint tea after dinner, before bed. It's like the perfect thing to drink alongside your dessert. It's really soothing on my stomach and it's just a part of my nighttime routine. Okay, it's the next morning. I thought I would show you my morning coffee routine. You've probably seen it in other vlogs of mine if you've watched it, but I just show you 
once in this video and then just know that I drink this every morning. So I do have an espresso. So I use a little espresso pod and then I always add oat milk and some kind of creamer. I've been trying this nut pods creamer for a little bit of a healthier alternative, but I really do love my sweeteners, <laughs> um, my sweetened creamers like the one from Planet Oat. So it really just depends. If I'm feeling healthy in the morning, I'll do less sugar. If I want the caramel, super sweet creamer, I'll, I'll add it. <laughs> So this is one of my go-to breakfast, breakfast tacos. I have some corn tortillas with cheddar or like Mexican style cheese melted on top. I just put those in the pan first with some butter or oil. And then I add avocado. I get the teeny tiny avocados from Trader Joe's. And then I do two eggs, so pretty much one egg per taco. And then um, top it with salsa and hot sauce. And it is a breakfast that is so delicious if you love savory breakfasts and it also keeps me full so long, which I need today. It's Tuesday, so my Tuesdays and Thursdays are my heavy class days. So this is when I am eating now at 10 a.m. because my first class is at 11 and it goes all the way till 3.15. And I don't wanna be super hungry um, during my classes, but I know I will because it's over lunch. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to have a quick lunch um, in between those classes. But I just want something that's gonna fill me up. I make these for my boyfriend. I make these for friends if they stay over and it's everyone's like, they all say it's delicious and it literally is so easy, honestly. We feel like you're having a great breakfast. Also, can we look at this tortilla? Mwah, when you heat it up in the pan, toast it a little bit before, oh, so good. Some days you just need that second coffee. So this little coffee I got down from my apartment. They have like a free machine. So save some money and had that vanilla latte. And you can't have a midday coffee without a little pumpkin bread since it's sitting on my counter just begging for me to have it. And then I wanted a pre-workout snack. So I had some raw almond butter with a banana and all of these kind of snacks together made up my lunch. I was just kind of grabbing whatever I could in between classes. All right, it is now. 4.40 p.m. I literally get so hungry right at 5 p.m. So I have to always be like making dinner before 5. I'm For my workout today, I just felt like I needed to be outside. I needed to move my legs after sitting all day in class. So I just walked outside for almost an hour, like 45, 50 minutes. Talked to my mom. Let's do a podcast. It was great. It was exactly what I needed. Some days I push myself in the gym. I do a super cardio Peloton workout some days I just go for a walk so yeah I thought I'd also talk about my workouts because I do think the amount of movement and exercise you have in your day also affects how hungry you get and your portion sizes and what your body needs so tonight for dinner I'm going to make a Mediterranean bowl because I'm inspired because I got kava this past weekend and it was so good so I got out some salmon to defrost before my walk and then I'm gonna make rice and add some chopped cucumber and some hummus. And I got this like Mediterranean lemon vinaigrette uh, from Panera. I didn't even know they had this, but yeah, I'm going to make a little Mediterranean bowl. I was gonna make meatballs with this, but I feel like I just want some salmon. So I like to eat salmon at least one or two times a week. Oh, and I'm also gonna roast some Brussels sprouts. So literally just putting a protein with some rice and some veggies, some hummus, and um, a like lemon vinaigrette and you got yourself a little Mediterranean style bowl. I'm cooking my Brussels sprouts on the same dish as my salmon. I just put a little bit of olive oil, salt, and now lemon on them. Um, just because I'm gonna add dressing and other condiments after so they don't need a ton of seasoning. But then I'm proud of this. I chopped up some cucumber and some tomato, also seasoned with salt and lemon juice, and maybe add a little bit of balsamic vinegar um, on here and just let this sit while the salmon and Brussels sprouts cook at 375 for about 20, 25 minutes. I just kind of watch it to see when it'll be done and then I'll top it all together. Okay, so here is the finalized bowl pieced together. We got some lettuce, the rice, salmon, a little bit of hummus, and then I actually had enough for seconds. So I made this bowl with everything but the protein to have for tomorrow. 
It was my first time adding cucumber and hummus to a salmon bowl, and I am going to be doing this every week now. Another thing I like to have in the evening from not having my peppermint tea is I pour some kombucha in a wine glass. It makes it feel like a fun, luxurious treat, even though kombucha is super good for your gut. And so I don't do this every night, but just every now and then I'll have some kombucha in a wine glass while I watch TV or do my homework at night. Also, most nights my dessert consists of some kind of dark chocolate. I just tried this new brand that everyone loves, the Hue dark chocolate. It was delicious. Okay, here we go. Wednesday morning I woke up and I attempted to sip on this green juice that I again made on Sunday, getting the use out of my juicer. <laughs> It was so tart. I added way too much lemon, but it was basically cucumber, celery, kale, and lemon. And it was kind of hard to get down, but I forced myself to drink it to get some, some good greens first thing in the morning. Then I had a breakfast of just granola with almond milk, a banana, almond butter. I think you guys are seeing a theme. I love almond butter. I can eat it straight out of the jar. And so I love adding it to my meals. And that was my super quick breakfast. I just ate um, before my first class. Then for lunch, I had that leftover tortellini soup again, kind of a bigger bowl today. I was a little hungrier. And again, these little prosciutto cheese fingers um, for some more protein and to fill me up even more. I got another free apartment building vanilla latte, just a good little midday pick me up. After my workout, I decided I wanted a smoothie, which oftentimes doesn't happen in the winter, but I was just craving it. So I added frozen mango, frozen berries, what I had left of my vanilla, toned it up protein powder. And then I added in some almond milk and, and some kale, whatever I could find in the fridge, and then just blended it all up. And it is not the prettiest color at all, but it did taste, it did taste pretty good. So don't worry about that. But it was a perfect like midday snack to hold me over till dinner. For dinner, I had the leftover rice, cucumbers, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, and hummus from my Mediterranean bowl night the dinner before. I just needed to add a fresh protein and I didn't have time or feel like cooking chicken or fish. So I just soft boiled, medium boiled two eggs and put that on top of the bowl. And honestly, it was, it was still pretty good. All right, going into Thursday morning, the last breakfast I'm gonna show you guys. I was gonna just make some eggs, but I decided to make it a little bit fancier and try to make an omelet. The keyword is tried. That is what mine ended up looking like. But basically I just did, I think two eggs, some cherry tomatoes, mixed cheese, and then also a side of chicken sausage, avocado, and hot sauce on top of those eggs. And it was a pretty good breakfast. All right, it's 12 o'clock right between classes and I'm not quite yet hungry, but I want um, something to sip on while I'm in my class. So I'm making a Peppermint London Fog, which is my favorite tea drink, non-coffee drink. Well, I love chives, I love matchas, but it's a great one for the winter and it's no caffeine. Doesn't really, that doesn't affect me, but if you're trying to do less caffeine, it's a great one. I just frothed some oat milk. I also added in this Nut Pods Vanilla Creamer. And then you brew a cup of peppermint tea. Pour your oat milk creamer in. I sometimes will also add a little bit of vanilla syrup if you want it sweet like they are when you order it in a cafe. But it's such a yummy drink that I use as a coffee alternative, kind of midday or at night. <laughs> we got our brewed peppermint tea. I just got the Trader Joe's tea, added a pump of vanilla. I did use a kettle, didn't use a microwave, but I am going to pour the thro frothed milk right on top of the tea bag. So may I don't know if that, I think you're supposed to take the tea bag out when you're making tea, but I like it to just keep getting stronger. So we have a little extra, so I'll add some, but yeah, that is my little at home peppermint London fog. Sitting on Zoom in my apartment all day does not make me very hungry. So again, for lunch, I just kind of munched on what I could find and grab and eat in between classes. I love these hippies, chickpea puffs, one of my favorite snacks. I've tried every flavor and I love them all. And then being honest, I grabbed these chocolate poker chips that were a gift from my boyfriend when he went to Vegas. All right, last meal of this, what I eat in a week. I'm not that hungry, but it's almost six o'clock and I need to eat something. So having some salmon, I put everything but the bagel seasoning on top, 
roasted cherry tomatoes and then some baked green beans. I literally just put it all on this sheet, put it in the oven at 370 for 20 minutes or so and gonna eat this and probably have some dark chocolate later as you guys have seen. I'm stopping this on Thursday because I'm actually going out of town tomorrow. I'm going on a bachelorette trip for one of my friends and I am so excited about it. Um, but definitely like traveling is gonna be a lot different. Food, I'll be at the airport for breakfast in Miami. I'm just gonna end this here, but normally my Fridays would look, breakfast and lunch would look the same, but then I normally would go out to eat or order food or kind of treat myself on Friday with purchasing food out and not having to make it myself, doing that at some point over the weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching this What I Eat in a Week. I hope it gave you maybe a little bit of meal inspiration or ideas or just shows you it's possible to eat at home during your week while being a busy college student. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.